everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 20 by 20 inch canvas, quite a larger canvas, and I'm hoping that you're getting most of it in uh, camera, in shot here. What I'm going to do is another um, stripe pour with uh, schmears and um, hopefully get some cells and some lacing and um, tipping. And, and some negative space too. I have quite a few paints, so let's just go over them real quick here. The first one is the Modern Masters Teal. And the second one here is, I have a, uh, it is the Amsterdam Reflex Rose combined with the Modern Masters Rose Quartz. I just, I, I wanted to use this Rose Quartz just to, uh, dull that down a little bit, that Reflex Rose. It is a beautiful color though. My next color is the Modern Masters Ruby. Real pretty color. The next color is a combination of Blick Light Blue Violet and, and Amsterdam Sky Blue Light. Decided to give those a little combination there. And some other colors that I have left are some that I made up. I made up a real pretty dark burgundy color that I've been using in a couple of my pores lately. And also oh, this one is a Amsterdam Payne's Gray and Prussian Blue combination. And I got that one from watching Sarah Taylor, a very nice, really dark, dark, dark blue color. And my uh, base coat today is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And I did mix some satin enamel with that. And also at the very end, I thought I didn't really just want plain white. So I did add uh, quite a dollop of the Rust-Oleum Champagne to that. I'll show you the color that I got. It's almost like a really light off-white color, almost like a clay color. And you can see consistency there, hopefully. Very thin today. My paints are almost like water. So what I'm going to do is turn off the camera. I'm going to put my base coat down, take care of some of these paints, come back, and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat down of my off-white, and... I did forget to tell you about pouring medium. So for my base coat, my pouring medium was three parts Floetrol, two parts of the Artist Flow White, one part GAC 800, a half a part of the uh, Liquitex pouring medium, and about a half a part of the Satin Enamel, and then I did uh, add quite a nice glob of the, um, the Champagne from Rust-Oleum. The other pa paints are one part paint, half part Floetrol. I did add a squirt of the Liquitex pouring medium and I did use water to thin both the paints and the base coat. And I am going to be doing some swiping and I'm either going to be using the um, Oxide Black from Amsterdam or Amsterdam Titanium White. I haven't decided which or both. We'll just have to see how that goes. So I'm just going to be laying down my paints in a ribbon fashion, doing some tipping and then um, doing some swiping on them. So let's just get started here. This first color is that color that I'm using that I made up. It's supposed to be like the old Mysterious, which I never did get to use but it is a combination of four different paints. Very pretty color. I did get that recipe from Gail, Gail Burston, Life in Splatters, on one of her videos. So check out Gail's channel if you're interested in this color. And it is called Mysterious. And I think she lists it as a mysterious recipe. And I did get my inspiration today from Gail Burston, Sarah Taylor, Dwight Pores, and Melly D. I understand Melly D is really the 
person that started this type of pour. So I do want to give all of those artists credit. I've learned a great deal from all of them. I've just been having so much fun with this type of pour that I just want to keep playing with it. Just seeing what I can do. And I've decided, as you can see, I'll put a little bit of paint up here too. Hope everyone had a nice weekend. Start of a new week, start of a new month. Happy March to everybody. Seems like February just flew by. And I am really looking forward to spring. As I'm sure a lot of you are. Please feel free to leave comments too if you have any questions about this, about this type of pour or any pour that you've seen me do in the past. I'd be glad to uh, answer any questions. Or if you've seen me do a pour in the past, you'd like me to repeat that pour, let me know. I'm always open to doing different pours, especially for beginners. This is the Ruby from Modern Masters. Very, very pretty color. Okay, and this is that Reflex Rose. This is the only color that I'm getting out of my comfort zone here using. But I felt that this painting needed a little bit of pop. And I think this color will give it that pop, hopefully. Okay, I think I've used all my colors now. Well, maybe not this. Nope, I didn't use this uh, Payne's Gray combination. Let me see what that was. Payne's Gray and Prussian Blue combination. Okay, I'm going to um, give it a quick torch here before I start tipping. Okay. And I do apologize if you're out of camera here. I'll try my best to have you see most of it. Just gonna move this paint around and maybe I will add some of my base coat, which I meant to do before we started tipping. So I'll just add that now, just to help the paint move.
okay that should be good Let's see if the paint moves a little easier now trying to uh, cover a little more of the canvas here spread out the paint and if need be I might even get out my uh, little leaf blower to spread some of the paint out, we'll just have to see. I need a little more help. Seems to be moving pretty well. Just trying to get it down to this corner here. Okay, I'm going to bring it back. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at it now. Like I said, I hope you're mostly in camera here. And I think I'll give it another quick torch. And I think I will start with the white For my um, schmears, what I'll do is I'll put the white on just a little tray here, and I'm going to dip my palette knife in there and see what we come up with. And I may switch to the black, but we're going to just start here with the white. Just dipping my palette knife in that paint. And I'm going to wipe off my little palette knife in between um, schmears here. You see how I turn my palette knife to the side? That will give me that little streak look. It narrows the schmear I'm making. I'm trying to see if the white will allow those other colors to come up and it looks like it is it is doing that. I'm really liking that effect. Hopefully you're seeing that okay. Okay, I'm going to use a different palette knife here. 
happen to use this little one. See what kind of effects I can get here. And see why just playing with this is so much fun. And I think I will try it with the black also, the black schmearing. I'm going to put some black in a little tray here also. And I'm going to try my big palette knife here. Let's just see what we get. Quite a nice effect too. See if we get some of the lacing coming up. You can see it right in here. Okay, I'm really liking that. Gonna try a little bit more here with the black. Okay, I think that it needs a little bit more color. So what I'm going to do is take one of my palette knives and I'm gonna dip it in a color and run it down here. Add a little bit more color. And I think I'm going to do it with the Reflex Rose. It does give it that pop of color.
I am liking that better. Maybe one more here. Okay. And I think I'm going to do a little bit more smearing here with the, uh, the black. I'll use my small, my very, very small palette like knife now. Okay, and I think I'm going to do a little bit more of the white, so I'm enjoying that white also. Can see there is paint underneath that comes up and that's really really a nice effect This, I could play with this all day. I think I will do a little bit of tilting here. See if the paint moves at all. It is moving just very slowly. Okay, so I give it a torch and then I think I'll get you down for a close up and you can tell me what you think.
Okay, everybody, I wanted to show you what I did off camera. I just didn't feel like it had enough color in it, so I added a, some more lines with the color. And I wanted to bring you back because I do want to show you how using this these swipe colors, the effect that you really get. So I'm starting out again with the white. Just wanted you to be a part of this. I added some more of that reflex rose, some more of that mysterious color, the Prussian blue. Trying to get some of the lacing effect here with adding the white, and then I'm going to add a little bit more black too. I hope you agree with me that you thought it looked a little bit too plain before. more with the white and then I think I'll switch to the black here. Okay. For the black, I'm going to try my little cards here. They're just little cards that I had made up, little plastic cards. See what kind of effects we can get with that. I'm starting out with the card on its side and then I'm gonna flatten it. And even turn it over. That's more of the effect I wanted to get. Right in here, you can see all those little cells coming up. Okay, I think I'm going to give it a torch now. Let's 
see all these little cells coming up now in the black and the white. down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, we're coming in for a close-up. And again, off camera, I worked quite a bit on this painting. Um, I just felt like it, it needed more to, to be done to it. So what I did is I took my straw and I blew out quite a bit along the lines here. And I'll point out quite a few of the areas, but this is the upper left-hand corner. And I'll show you some of those areas I blew out. Like in here, I just think it adds so much more to this painting that I did that. Just going down the left-hand side here. And I blew out down in here. Some in here, quite a bit. And even I, I blew along that reflex rose line just to give it a little more accent. And this is the lower left-hand corner here. And let's just go up the whole painting here. You can see I did did do quite a bit of blowing out. And that's the effect that, uh, that I really like there, that wispy. I just think it adds more for the eye to look at. Very pretty in here. There's some of those cells that came up with the black swipes. And I hope you agree, if you do agree, that blowing it out made it much more attractive. Let me know in the comments. And we're going to go all the way over here and down. Again, I blew this out quite a bit in here. And in here, very pretty. I love that reflex rose with the ruby together. Great combination. And this is the lower right hand corner here. Just take you up the right hand side. Looks like a whole different painting since I, I blew quite a bit out with the straw. With the straw, I found I had more control than if I would have used the leaf blower. Here's the upper right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would really help my channel. And I appreciate everyone watching and all your support. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now. This is a little bonus video at the end. I had a subscriber ask, ask to see the dried results of video number 283, the one where I had the green tape around the edges for the frame. Well, this is the dried results, and this is how it looks now that it's uh, the tape's all off and you can see the frame. So I hope you enjoy this, and just to let everyone know out there that all of our paintings are for sale and our contact information is in the description box so you can always get a hold of us if you're interested in purchasing a painting and also check out our etsy shop that is also in the description thanks so much have a great day bye for now